This is 6301 Vermont Route 7A in Sunderland, Vermont. So from the front door, where there's actually a screened porch, come right into the front living room. Alternatively, you could actually set this up as the dining room if you wanted to, because the kitchen is right over there. Or you could set it up the way they have it, where there's two sitting areas with a second one here right off of the dining room. There are the two corner built-in hutches, china cabinets, if you will. And there's this really cool detail on the ceiling just in this cozy room. Hardwood floors. There's also the real knotty pine, this dark wood. It's really lovely. And look at how you are just completely circled with windows in this space. It's a total indoor outdoor experience. So it circles completely around. So you can see the front or you can follow me and pop into the kitchen. So the kitchen does have inlay cabinet doors and drawers, great quality raised panels. There's a dishwasher right next to the sink that overlooks the backyard. Believe it or not, there's actually about eight acres of land here there's room for an island. This one's not included, it's just portable, but you certainly could bring your own. There's a double oven. Beautiful custom built-in vent hood that matches all the cabinetry. And then there's a whole wall of storage on this side. Off the back, there is a mud room, right? So there's a place to put all your coats and boots. There's hooks in there. And if we move back towards the front room, but instead of circling to my right, I'm gonna show you what's here on the left. There's two bedrooms, basement door, and there's a full bath on this level. So let's start there. So this lovely marble bathroom has an upgraded countertop. Tile all the way around the lower portion of the room. Nice detail here. And then it is a three quarter bathroom. So you do have just a shower in this room, but gosh, I love these tiles. They're so beautiful. A built in niche for your shower products, an adjustable height shower head and then there's a light and a fan in the shower there is also a window in here for natural lighting take a look at the handsome cabinets all right i'm going to first go then now to my right and show you the first of four bedrooms they have this one just simply set up as a guest room. So it is both a bedroom as well as an office. It has this whole built-in wall with hanging closets as well as uh, shelving and then the built-in desk area. Lots of windows in here. It's very nice and bright. And then directly across the hall is bedroom number two. This one is set up with two twin beds. And there's a hanging closet right there. New carpet in these two bedrooms downstairs. So you can see the transition from the original you know, wood floors that obviously have not been refinished. Certainly a lot of life left in them. 
versus the brand new carpet. Also want to point out things like the solid wood six panel doors, just a nice quality feature of a home. Okay, like I said, basement's on my left, so I'm gonna skip that for now. We're gonna head upstairs, finish the rest of the living space. So I'll give you a little panorama there. Up we go. At the top of the stairs is the second bathroom. This one has a tile floor, and this is just a tub. So there's no shower in this one but just a really lovely tub for soaking. There is a window here overlooking the back. This has thick original paneling. It's all been painted out white. You can see there's a large built-in storage closet here in the bathroom. And then for the vanity, it actually has an older cabinet, but a brand new beautiful granite countertop. And then there's a little storage cubby right there. So bedroom number four is also being used as an office, but it absolutely can be a bedroom. There's a hanging closet in here, all these incredible bookshelves, and then there's a small attic space behind that door and look at all this incredible storage. It's just really amazing to have this much storage in a home. And then the last of the four bedrooms, this one is used as the primary suite. So here we have two closets. Floors are a little different up here compared to downstairs, I'll just Spin you around so you can see we're in the, the dormer here of the cape and then there's a third closet all right oh I also have to point out some of the rooms have the traditional brass and glass knobs which I just adore lovely details like that Okay, so back down stairs. I am gonna pop you into the basement to show you the utilities. Bear in mind, this is a completely unfinished basement. It has not been cleaned out yet, so bear with me. It's a work in progress, so this will get cleaned out this week. So there's electrical over here, room for extra freezer or fridge if you need it. There's the oil tank. There, you might not be able to see it too good, but that is the door that goes out to the bulkhead. There's a bulkhead um, for exterior access. Over here we have the electric hot water tank and the furnace. I'll get up closer to show you that. And then over here we have laundry. So I really just wanna show you that there's a concrete floor throughout the basement space. There's actually this concrete sink, which is really cool. Still works. Laundry here, this hookup. You can also down here now appreciate that there is spray foam insulation that has been done. So all of this has new insulation, okay? And then I know it's a little bit dark over here, but bear with me, you can see the Airco hot air furnace. So there's not currently central air in this house, but because it's a hot air system if you wanted to add central air simply adding a compressor should do the trick and then over here you have the new hot water tank this is all off of electricity and i know it's super dark you probably won't be able to see it very well but here is the water system there is a drilled well and you can again appreciate all of the insulation that has been done keeping it nice and warm down here oil tank and then here is that exterior access so we have steps to outside okay that is the basement lots of built-in 
shelving and storage everywhere. Let's come back up just to give you a final ending shot here in the living room. It's a beautiful day out.